Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne says it makes a lot of sense to sell cannabis through the province's existing liquor distribution system, the LCBO, echoing similar suggestions from Manitoba Premier Greg Selinger and BC and Ontario unions. On Monday, Wynne said that while she doesn't know the federal government's legalization timeline, the LCBO is very well suited to putting in place the social responsibility aspects that would need to be in place. Warren Thomas, the head of the Ontario Public Service Employees Union, suggested the same, telling CBC News this week that there would not be any need to reinvent the wheel. He said the LCBO already has the social responsibility part covered. They do age checks and refusals if somebody's intoxicated, and have a very secure warehouse and distribution system. In November, Manitoba's Premier, Greg Selinger, and the CEO of Manitoba Liquor and Lotteries, John Stinson, made similar statements, which were also mirrored this month by the BC Government and Service Employees Union and the BC Private Liquor Store Association. Of course, not everyone is happy with the plan. Interim Conservative Party leader and former Health Minister Rana Ambrose, who has long opposed cannabis legalization, told CBC News that when it comes to children, it's not that easy to say we're going to regulate and restrict. She said liquor stores have not been hugely successful in terms of restricting access for kids. While Ambrose ignores the fact that according to UNICEF, Canada already has the highest rate of underage cannabis use in the Western world, there are reasons for activists to oppose selling the plant alongside booze as well. For one, alcohol is scientifically proven to be more harmful than cannabis. Booze kills thousands of Canadians every year. Many cannabis enthusiasts, or patients who'd prefer not to get their prescription filled online, like me, don't want to buy our bud from a liquor store. Similar to how we don't want to be pressured into hard drugs on the black market, we don't want to be coerced by a government monopoly into buying liquid poison. Which brings me to the second possible issue with this proposal. Liquor stores shouldn't have a monopoly on recreational cannabis. While provincial premiers and unions aren't asking for a monopoly, so far, selling cannabis in liquor stores is the only proposal they've made. Booze stores should be able to sell cannabis, but not if it's the only option given to customers. During the election campaign, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said cannabis will not be sold in convenience stores. But why not? Like alcohol, tobacco is far worse for a user's health than cannabis. And cigarettes are sold in corner stores across the country. At least at these shops, tobacco is kept hidden, and cigarettes aren't the only product they sell. But despite my trepidation with the Premier's proposal, when the conversation has gone from whether cannabis should even be legal to where and how it should be sold, it's clear that tremendous progress has been made. Furthermore, Health Minister Jane Philpott recently told reporters that while suggestions from the provinces are welcomed, they're premature. I'm happy to see that our provincial counterparts are looking at what they think might be good ideas, but that does not uh, imply that uh, we're anywhere near that stage of our uh, discussions. We have had an initial meeting of the three departments together and obviously each of us as our separate departments have been working together and uh, having briefings from our perspective and so I've met with my Health Canada colleagues to get their perspective on the issue and in the new year we'll be meeting again as departments to develop the plan. 